morning. It's Thursday, May 6, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, All Nations Means All, and our scripture is Isaiah chapter 49. And now the Lord speaks, the one who formed me in my mother's womb, to be his servant who commissioned me to bring Israel back to him. The Lord has honored me, and my God has given me strength. He says, you will do more than restore the people of Israel to me. I will make you a light to the Gentiles, and you will bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. And then Genesis chapter 22, where God says to Abraham, Through your descendants, all the nations of the earth will be blessed, all because you have obeyed me. From the moment of original sin in the Garden of Eden, God promised a Messiah would come to take away our sin. In promises of blessing God made to Adam, Abraham, Noah, and others, he made promises to individuals, but extended their blessing throughout the nations, all the nations. The culmination of the meaning of all nations is when God spoke to the Apostle Peter in Acts chapter 10. Peter is given a vision of a sheet held by angels at its four corners, the four corners of the earth attaching a complete or universal application. In the sheet are all sorts of animals that were forbidden to Jews for meat. The Lord tells Peter to satisfy his appetite. Peter cringes in repulsion at being told to eat the unclean animals when actually he's cringing over putting aside a lifetime of obedience to a dietary law his peers saw as critical. God finishes off Peter's reluctance with a simple sentence, Don't call something unclean if I, God, have made it clean. For Peter and us, that one moment leveled the playing field where heritage arrogance is concerned. Suddenly, there is no Jew or Gentile, no savage or civilized, no male or female, and the line between East and West is a distant memory. With one sentence, God wipes out the justification for racism, sexism, nationalism, or elitist attitudes of any kind. All the isms lose their juice, and we're left with what Paul said in Galatians 3.28, that we are one in Christ Jesus. Peter's mind, life, and future have just turned on a dime, and we are back to the basics of one promise for all peoples, God will save. For you today, if this whole thought that we have one God, one Creator who made one race and has provided one Messiah to eradicate the one problem we all have of sin, If that doesn't cause anyone to simply say one word of thanks, a hearty amen would do, then somewhere along the line, thoughts of who God is and what he's offering to all people has gone off the tracks. The good news is, he's willing to help anyone get back on the rails and travel on in his ride to heaven's glory. Just ask. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.